Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1 VGA. And wait and last, we left off, we spoke with the Wizard Erasmus at length, mainly so that he had a chance to tell every single joke that he had on us. We also learned a fair bit about Baba Yaga, and how to deal with Baba Yaga, namely, using a counter curse, which we could potentially be, because we are a hero, and we are here to do heroic things. Though if we can best Baba Yaga is another question. Right now, we are going to- oh, there is a, uh, brigand here who wants to say hi. And by hi, I mean they're going to die! Just need to wait for you to, uh, there we go! An opening for me to exploit, and you are gone! Not quite what I was hoping to do, but I will take your money. And that is 15 silvers. I want to go east here and have at the, with the ogre. We're a lot stronger than we used to be. Hopefully, we're strong enough to best you. Hello! It's rematch time. Hostile intent is evident. Now we need to, there we go. When you move forward, I can hit you. Like that. Okay. I think I've got this! Oh, I absolutely have this! Lost a little bit of stamina. And... DEFEATED! Victory is ours! A search of the dead ogre's body produces no treasure. However, the treasure chest he was carrying lies beside his body. The dead ogre's huge club is much too heavy for you to lift. Ooh, that treasure chest. I need to break that open. The treasure chest is locked. Hmm, what about brute strength? You force the ogre's chest open. Ha ha! The dead ogre's chest contains one gold and 43 silver, which you take and put away. Excellent! We were victorious. How is our skill now? 87. And 92 agility. And 66 luck. Not bad at all, I'm gonna say. If that was a huge accomplishment. More importantly, we now have access to this cave. There is a cave entrance large enough to admit a man. The rocks look like they've been dropped in place by a gigantic hand. You see some of the trees of the forest. Well, let us go in and see what we can see. Oh. As your eyes adjust from sunlight to darkness, you examine the interior of this eerie cavern. You sense something moving off to your right. The stalagmites grow slowly. Or are these stalactites? Beyond the bear, the cave seems to continue. The bear blocks the way. On one side of his cavern is a creature which looks like a large bear. There is something attached to his leg. Oh. Well, there's clearly something we should do that's very silly, and that is that we should go and walk up to the bear and die. Hello! I wish to perish. Oh. It's done up! Oh, I missed that. I missed that thing. It's probably saying that it's it's rearing up to attack. Well! Yup! <laughs> you did something we weren't expecting. Whatever it was, you don't need to do it to finish the game. Try taking a different approach to the situation. Error 4, SCI version... Whoa! It's not every day that I manage to catch a game crashing like that, and my was that a very unique crash situation. Interesting that the, uh, engine had a clause for dealing with things like that. But either way... We've done one thing that was so wrong the game failed on me, let's do something else that's very wrong, because it's clear that we shouldn't be fighting this bear. This bear is chained up, this bear is pretty much a prisoner. So let's have at thee! With a chained up bear. And it packs a punch! It packs quite a punch, but... If we attack it when it moves close, we should be... Okay, this bear is maybe gonna kill us. Let's hope it doesn't. Oh! It's a bit tricky to time when you hit. But there we go. 
Oh, got to do it as soon as you start moving forward. Like that. There we go. A few more hits. We win! Oh, dear. Oh, dear, the colours! The body lying there looks a lot like the picture of the Baron von Spielberg on the post at the Guild Hall. You have a funny feeling you may have made a slight tactical error. We lost points doing that, and quite a few points. We also lost all of the colours here. So yeah, that was bad. Let's not do that. Let us instead load the game, get all our points back, and consider what else we can do. I mean... Hmm. I don't know. Let's move closer and get that dialogue that I clicked past before. A little closer. Stood up. A very large bear rears up as you approach. It looks hungry and dangerous. Ah! That's the clue I want. Hungry. I have rations. Would you like some? You have made this bear very happy. It would be wise to take advantage of its current mood. Excellent! We shall walk past you and get to the next area. And we gain points! Ooh. This section of cave has an eerie quality. You see a kobold resting on a ledge across from you. The strange creature is dressed in ragged clothes. It has a lar it has large pale eyes. It must have spent its entire life in these caves. A large brass key hangs from a thong around the creature's neck. Ooh. Some sort of food. Mushrooms? Sits in a pile on the stone table. It looks almost edible. To a kobold. This part of the cavern is spacious and multi-leveled. Phosphorescent fungus illuminates the cavern with an unearthly glow. On a rocky platform above the cave floor is a kobold, one of the race ugly, miserly creatures known for their skill in magic. Oh, did you shape change the baronet? I bet you did. Well, is there something there? No, there isn't. It looks like there's something there. I mean, if I was not a fighter, I could probably deal with this more subtly. I am a fighter, though. Your foot slips on the wet cavern floor and makes a scuffing noise. You go! You no stay here! Ah, you are... you are blasting me. I should probably just stand here and let you blast me. And then we'll die! Eventually. How much damage is this dealing? Uh, not a lot, honestly. If that hit, how much did that deal? It dealt... Oh, not a lot. We're gonna have to wait quite a while for you to kill me like this. But I'm gonna wait. I'm absolutely gonna wait. You really need to work on your aim. I'm right here, Kobold. I'm right here. It would honestly would be faster to just stab me with a knife right now. This is taking a long time, but a couple more hits, and we should be defeated. There we go! Struck by lightning. You are overcome by the power of the Cobalt Wizard's magic. You need either to practice your skills or to plan a better attack strategy. Yeah, let's actually ready our sword, shall we? How about thee? You go! You know, stay here! Okay, I've gotta... There we go! Gotta just stab here! There we go! Stab! Stab! There we go! Victory is ours and we got points! You see a large brass key lying on the ground. A faint glow emanates from the key. We shall take this key. You retrieve the dropped key. You pick up the kobold's mushrooms and put them in your pack. Is there anything else here? No? Just having a look around, just in case. Nothing? No? 
magic, you can never be sure what uh, else is around. Just having a quick look around. I do remember in uh, Stonekeep there was uh, the instance where you could only find something by having your foot collide with it. So, uh... I bet I'm going to miss something. I absolutely bet I'm going to miss something by uh, just not being thorough enough. But I'm, I'm going to look around a little longer. We do have time. Oh! There is something! You have to open the chest first. I found a hidden chest. Aha! Ah aggressive, aren't you? You have to open it first. The chest seems to be locked. Well, I have a key. You fought so hard for this key, you can't just bear to part with it. The key doesn't fit in the chest. It must be for a different lock. Huh. I can't just... Ah, I can force it open properly. You pry at the sealed lid of a chest and... Wow! The chest must have been booby-trapped. You could really feel the damage from the blast. Oops. I mean, it didn't hurt us that much. You've seen it before. You had 10 gold and 60 silver coins to your money pouch. Yay! I, I got the stuff. I bet if you were a thief, you'd be able to open that without having it blow up on your face. So we have a key, and I bet I know what that key's for. It's probably for the chains for the bear. Hello! I'm here to free you! Yes, I'm freeing a bear. Yes, this is the right decision. You're free! Magic key gets rid of the curse. The cobalt key disappears as you turn it in the lock. And I didn't stab him this time! You have the honor of meeting the Baronet Barnard von Spielberg. We are pleased that you broke our enchantment. Perhaps our father the Baron will reward you should you ever visit our castle. The arrogance of the Baronet astonishes you. Perchance the Cobalt Magic user had a reason for changing him into a bear. But we did it! We have freed the Baronet. And that is one person rescued. We now need to find, uh... The Baron's daughter. No information as to where they are, though we have been given a couple of not so subtle hints. We should go and uh, head over to the goblin training ground. Oh, speaking of goblins, hi, how you doing? I'm gonna have Andy with you. Oh, 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 careful. There we go. Gotcha. We don't even need to hit you that many times anymore. How much money do you have? Eight silver. How much money do we have? Uh, wrong icon. We have 21 gold and 178 silvers. We are pretty rich. We have one vigor potion and two healing potions. We need to buy more of both of them. Really, that's what we need to buy. More of both of them and also some rations. Some rations wouldn't go amiss but we can buy them back in town. Right, goblin training ground should be, if we head down from here, it'll take me to the garden, and then the goblin lair will be... Oh, there is you. Oh dear. Uh, how do I... Okay, I can hit you like that. Yeah. Oh! Okay, you are tricky. You are a tricky foe. I don't know what you are. I can only really hit you... Okay, I can hit you there, like that. You hurt a lot. But, I can hit you twice. And... Oh! Got you! I don't even know what you are. But I killed you, and you have no treasure! Yay, okay, never fight one of them again. That's probably something that a wizard would be much better at dealing with. I am no wizard. I am no wizard. Hi, goblin! I I'm, I'm just on my way to fight you guys, actually. The fact that you're coming this way to me makes it that much easier. 
the fact that I can just kill you with a couple of hits here makes it easier still. Four silvers. Not bad. How is our skill doing? 89. Intelligence at 51. I mean, it was quite smart freeing the uh, baronet. So when we get to the garden, we have gone as far south as we need to. And we have not gone as far south as we need to. What time of day is it? We'll find out in a moment! Hello! Don't mind me. Okay, it is uh, midday. I could do with waiting for an hour. I'm glad that the uh, centaur does not mind me just standing in uh, the garden for an hour. Let's go. It is a couple of screens to the west, and then we shall try our best to get to the Baron's castle before it gets too dark. Maybe we can have a conversation with the Baron. That'd be nice. Okay, one more screen this way, I think. No goblins, by the way. No goblins at all here. Do I want to train up my... Ooh, dodging. If I could train up my dodging to a hundred, that'd be pretty good. I should work to the, towards that. Hello! I'm back! I just want a little bit of experience. Do you wish to fight me? So what we're gonna do is fight you. Two, three, four, five. So five hits to defeat you. And a couple of hits to defeat you. And defeat you. And defeat you. And you. And you. Oh, oh, you're dodging. There we go. Still more. And two more. There we go. And you. We're going to get you to within one or two hits of defeat. Like that. And we'll dodge a bit. Ha ha! Try and hit me, goblin! You can try, and you will fail! Okay, you'll probably hit me at some point. I just want to get a bit better at this. <laughs> Do I spamming dodge? Maybe at some point this will have a use. Maybe it will. Okay, gotta watch out though, make sure my stamina doesn't get too low. Otherwise we'll die. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't want to make it too low. Okay, let's get to looting. Eight silvers. Nothing. Four. Nothing. Thirty-five. Five. Nothing. And four. Also, ninety-one in weapon use and eighty-eight in dodge. We're getting very close now. Very close to maximum in those. And we really want to get to maximum in those. We really, really do. Also, I want to save because I'm on my way to the Baron's Castle and I am a little bit wounded. So, let us run. Ooh, I think we just need to... Yeah, we just basically need to run east. If we run east and then we go north, we can get outside the Baron's Castle quite safely. Hello, don't mind me. I've got places to go. Hopefully the Baron will see me. This is where the Baron won't see me. Oh yes, also, want to sell you a couple of thingamies. While I'm thinking about it. Let's do that. Come on in. You don't have to run, you know. Well, what can I do for you this time? I have something to sell you. Would you like some Cheetor Claws? Do you mean to tell me that you actually managed to kill a Cheetor? You're quite a hero, aren't you? Here's your money. You might think about purchasing a healing potion in case you have to fight such monsters again. I will sell you another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And I will sell you some flowers, too. Excellent. And excellent. Right, I need to buy some things from you. 
I have two healing potions and a vigor potion. Right. Let's buy another vigor potion. I hope this will help you. Let's buy another healing potion and another healing potion and an undead one. I don't know if I need the undead one. There it is, but I feel like it might be useful. Also, 21 gold and 74 silver. We still have tons of money. Also, need to buy some rations when we're next in town. And we have some of these, uh, you know what? Do you want the mushrooms? Thank you, but I have enough mushrooms. Okay, you don't want any mushrooms. And so, when we come back, folks, we have rescued one of the Baron's children. And we're getting close to maxing out our combat skills. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Soon. Soon, Derek, you will be a true hero. How are our physical stats doing, by the way? 75, 95, nearly at 100 agility. We are at 100 vitality, though. We are not going to get more hardy. But we can afford to get stronger. And a bit more lucky. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. For we will go and see the Baron, and hopefully get a hero's welcome, or at least a half-hero's welcome. We still have to find his daughter. But I'm sure we will in time. Later.